morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Nick Ashmore. I'm the Chief Executive of the Strategic Banking Corporation of Ireland, or SBCI. Uh, we are Ireland's new promotional financial institution. What that means is we're a, kind of like a government bank for SMEs. Uh, we don't lend it actively in the market. Instead, we wholesale our funding through banks and non-bank financial institutions. We then lend it on to SMEs on better terms, uh, at more favorable rates and with more flexibility. Our main objective is to help SMEs grow their business, to invest in their business, by enabling access to affordable, flexible, long-term and useful finance, um, lent on a sensible basis with a clear understanding of the underlying business. We do that through um, either lending low-cost loans to banks who pass on the benefit to SMEs, and increasingly now we're starting to take risk on underlying loans as well to help borrowers get access to finance they might not otherwise get or on better terms. So we have our impact on the market in two ways. One is we have a financial impact, we increase the amount of funding available at a lower cost, and the second impact we have is on driving competition. So we support small lenders to enter the market um, and compete with the banks on a level playing field using our funding. It does contain state aid, it is a state-backed institution, um, so that means we're here to try and address market failures rather than to be a, a component of the market itself. In terms of the, the SME lending market, um, we do see a number of issues arising in the market. Uh, and these have been persistent for some time. SME finance is always to some degree slightly problematic. The small businesses tend to have less um, information available about their businesses for borrowers and as borrowers to enable lenders and to provide them with credit. Um, the issues that we see though are that SMEs in Ireland continue to pay a premium for their interest rates. They are higher both than larger companies but also relative to their peers in Europe. Um, and generally they're about a two, two, two and a half percent higher interest rates here. The average interest rates have been coming down um, the central bank released a report yesterday that showed the average rates dropped from 5.9 to 5.5. On average, SPCI loans provided through those banks and other non-bank providers um, are on average about 1.5% cheaper and, and on average about 4.5% as an interest rate. Um, and that varies in terms of the discount, but generally the discount is somewhere around just under 2%. Um, there is a low level of competition in the market. The central bank report also um, highlighted that that situation is, is, is strengthening in that there are 93% um, 90, of SME loans are provided by three banks. So it's not a highly competitive market. Uh, there's also a low level of competition amongst non-bank providers like leasing companies and invoice discounters. And that's where we're starting to have an impact by bringing more of those into the market and making more choice available to SMEs. Um, variety of types of finance has been limited coming out of the crisis. That's starting to improve. I think we're now supporting about eight or nine different types of finance, whether that's agri-investment loans or um, refinancing loans for banks that left the market or invoice discounting or different types of leasing. Um, barriers to access to finance to SMEs remain. Um, having the right information, having the right level of collateral that a bank can make a loan, um, all of those issues persist. And so as we start to take risk on underlying loans and share that with the banks and other providers, we start to address those issues as well and it makes it easier for certain types of business to get access to loans. I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. There's also, as a result of this, we're seeing a fall in demand for lending amongst small businesses. Um, but in parsing those figures, the central bank pointed out yesterday that the drop in applications is really for refinancing and restructuring of loans. As businesses get stronger, we're seeing a steady rate of application for new lending. So that isn't falling, that demand is, is, is staying there but it is relatively low compared to other countries in Europe. Um, and whether that's a matter of confidence amongst borrowers that they can get the loans and it's worth going for funding, or whether it's a factor of the process is seen as too onerous, um, or generally that businesses are choosing to finance themselves more. We're not 100% clear on that, but the SPCI's focus is on trying to get to the bottom of it and ensure that when SMEs do need finance that they go for it, they have the confidence to go for it, uh, the products are there to deliver what they need. The SPCI has two main lines of business. The first one is lending, that's where we provide finance to banks, all three banks, AIB, Bank of Ireland and Ulster Bank, uh, using 
SPCI funding to provide lower cost, longer term loans to SMEs. And we also have five non-bank institutions that are providing what we call asset-based finance. That's finance secured on specific assets, whether that's leasing on equipment or vehicles, invoice discounting, which is secured on the debtor's book, um, or more recently, um, contract hire as well, which is a specific operating lease finance for fleets of vehicles, and that's done through Merriam Fleet. Um, the new line of business for us is risk sharing. The SBCI has taken on management of the government's credit guarantee scheme. This is a scheme whereby if you can't get the finance you're looking for from one of the three main banks, you can apply for a credit guarantee scheme loan, and the government will take up to 75% of the risk of that loan away from the bank. So if you have a limited amount of collateral to secure a loan, or your cash flows are slightly less certain, then the credit guarantee scheme can swing the difference between getting a loan and not getting a loan or getting the loan you want versus the loan that the banks are prepared to offer. It does at the moment cost an extra 2% on top of your interest rate, but that's still a lot cheaper than having to go and raise equity to fund the alternative. There's a new version of the credit guarantee scheme coming out later this year, probably around the end of the first quarter. That's going to increase the guaranteed rate up to 80%, and we're hoping it's going to drop the price a little bit as well. So it's worth watching out for, and we're also going to make it a lot easier to use if we can. This morning, literally five minutes ago, we announced the launch of SPCI Agriculture Cash Flow Support Loan. This is a highly um, bespoke measure we've just brought to the market to help farmers that are struggling with their cash flows. It's at an interest rate of 2.95% um, and it's unsecured loans. So it's a very interesting financial product from farmers' point of view. It's designed to help them refinance out their expensive overdrafts and their expensive notion credit lines. And it's an example of the type of measure the SBCI can produce in the future um, using resources from our own balance sheet, from the European Investment Bank Group, who are providing a, a counter guarantee to us in this case, um, and resources from the government. The Department of Agriculture is between European Union Exceptional Aid and their own funding have put up 25 million euros to enable 150 million euros worth of lending to be done on this basis. And that's helping keep the cost down and making the loans easy to, to, to access. So those are our two main areas of, of operation. Um, how we're getting that out into the market is as follows. So on lending, it's been delivered through AIB, Bank of Ireland, and Ulster Bank in the form of classic term loans. These are for a minimum of two years, up to 10 years. Um, each bank offers the loans on a slightly different basis. They compete in how they deliver SPCI funding. AIB provides a one price fits all for loans of a thousand euros up to five million euros, that's a four and a half percent. And for smaller loans, that's a two percent discount off their standard rate for small businesses of 6.5 percent. So it's a very, very good deal. Bank of Ireland offer a 0.4 percent discount off any loan up to five million if it's an SPCI loan. And then Ulster Bank, it's a one percent discount off whatever rate you've negotiated. So for larger loans um, above 250,000, Ulster Bank have got a very, very compelling offering with that 1% discount. And we're seeing loans, loan rates come down into the kind of 35 to 4% range. On the leasing side, we have um, Finance Ireland who are offering classic hire purchasing um, and vehicle and equipment leasing. We also have Fexco who are offering specific, specific um, hard to lease asset leasing. So ideal for industrial installations, uh, manufacturing equipment, um, production lines, and all the kind of equipment that we're seeing today. And it's interesting, the central bank would point out that manufacturing is one of the areas where we're seeing increasing demand for credit from small businesses in Ireland. So Fexco is our newest offering. We've given them 70 million euros to deploy in equipment leasing. And it's designed for that type of leasing, which is hard to get from banks and from other institutions because it's not an easily um, secured asset like a car or a bus or a van or anything like that. It's for things that are built into buildings. So it's, um, it's a very, very useful new entrant. It's an area that we felt um, that we identified as being underserved in the market. Um, they're based out of Limerick, so they have a regional approach, um, and they're very keen to get that money to work now. Their finance is about 2% cheaper than it would have been without the SPCI support, and also their capacity is significantly increased to offer lending to SMEs. On the agri-leasing side, First Citizen are out there providing agricultural equipment leasing to farmers and small businesses that are in that, operating in that industry. Um, contract hire, 
finance oil and juniors as well, but Marion Fleet is a specialist based out in Sandiford. So if you're a small business, you need one, two, three, four, five cars on a, on a contract lease basis. They manage the whole process of having a vehicle or having vehicles in your business. They take away all the risk um, associated with servicing, insurance, um, variation in costs. They provide finance. And it's all wrapped in, up in one easy monthly payment. We've, the analysis that we've done showed that for the cost of um, hire purchasing two vehicles, where you end the vehicle, own the vehicle at the end of the day, contract hire, you can have, for the same amount every month, you can get three cars. And, they get, and then essentially on that same basis, you get a new car every three years. So it's a very compelling offering. Um, and it's a very good deal using SPCI funding. And then lastly, invoice finance. Um, we launched with Bibi last summer. They're providing a lower cost invoice discounting product using SPCI funding. Invoice discounting can be seen as quite expensive because there's an operational cost in there as well. But Bibi's got a very good deal now in the market and they're looking to grow their book aggressively. So if you do have a sales ledger and you're looking to raise working capital, they're a very strong option now. Looking at where the SPCI funding has gone to date and to give you an idea that this is funding for your business, but really whatever type of business that is, um, you can see that we're deploying funds right across the country. Only 15% of the loans have actually gone out in Dublin by number. About 25% of the value of funding has gone to Dublin. So the rest is spread very widely around the country and also across many different sectors. So you can see the professional scientific, 4%, manufacturing, 7.5%, um, admin and support services, 10%, uh, wholesale and retail at 17 So there's a very wide sectoral spread. So if you've got a small business from a one-man band up to 250 employees, this financing is available for you. The only sectors that we exclude are things like um, human cloning and weapons production and gambling and alcohol. So all really you know, big, big industries in Ireland. But, um, you also see there the, the number of SMEs. These figures have been updated. We're about to issue our new update. We've now lent more than half a, half a billion euros worth to SMEs in the last two years. And that's to more than 12,000 small businesses around the country. Average loan size is about 40,000 euros. Risk sharing is the new product. And I've talked a bit about the agri cash flow support loans. Um, this is a really strong innovation for us. We, we are pulling in so many different supports from Europe and from the government and creating a product that actually really works on the ground for farmers um, facing the cash flow difficulties that they're, they're facing at the moment. And we're hoping to do more of these as we identify different market failures in the market, whether that's within a certain sector, say maybe manufacturing companies are looking for perhaps longer term funding with um, some payment breaks or, or payment free uh, capital repayment free period at the beginning, that might be something that we can support with SPCI funding. And, and that better enables maybe Irish manufacturing companies to compete with the likes of their German competitors who we know get this type of funding very easily from the um, from KFW, who's the you know, very large equivalent of ourselves in Germany. The credit guarantee scheme, we're operating on behalf of the government, but it's a similar arrangement. And the government essentially takes part of the risk away from the bank in deploying that loan. Um, as I said, it, it addresses inadequate collateral. It also addresses um, refinancing of banks that have left the market. So you still have a loan from Anglo or uh, Bank of Scotland Ireland, now this is starting to decrease now. But even if that loan's been sold to another company and you need to refinance it, SPCI funding and credit guarantee scheme can both be used to support that. Um, and then lastly, if, if your business is viewed as higher risk because it's growing quickly or it has a high level of intellectual property rather than hard asset collateral, then the credit guarantee scheme can help uh, make funding available for that as well. So uh, we have a, a quick video to show, to finish up. Um, sorry, I'm afraid we don't have any sound for the video. So just to explain, Action24 is a security company based in Sandiford, offering um, services to businesses all over the Dublin area. Um, and through Merion Fleet, they were able to access low-cost funding for a fleet of vehicles that they've then used not only as transport for their, their guys on the ground who are out servicing their customers, but also as an advertising platform as well. So they've had the vehicles wrapped in their, their logo and marketing materials. Um, and they're a major impact on the business. You'll probably see them out and about in the M50 and around the industrial estates. Um, and it's been a major boost to their business to be able to get this fleet out on the ground in a cost-efficient fashion 
uh, but also get the benefit from the advertising that's come with that. So um, it's, a, it's a very good example of, of a SPCI funding through Marion Fleet, um, and a good example of what you can do with, with an SPCI um, finance facility. So um, thank you very much for listening. I'd be very happy to take any questions at this point. Um, if you have them. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.